Hey there, welcome to Solve My Math Homework. We are the YouTube channel that solves only the math problems our subscribers send in. So today we're looking at an indefinite integral and I like this one because we can use u substitution even though it looks a little ugly, it's actually quite easy. So let's get into why we can use u substitution and really why we like u substitution better. I think u substitution is so much easier than integration by parts, so let's show you why. Okay, so the first thing you see when you see this integral is that you have this 24 being multiplied to this whole thing. I don't wanna deal with this 24. When 24 or any number is simply multiplied to the entire thing you're gonna take the integral of, that's called a constant multiplier, and we could just pull it out, like factoring it out and deal with it later. So all I want you to do is take that 24, that constant multiplier, and pull it on the outside of the integral bar, and we're gonna deal with it at the end. We won't forget about it, but now we have 24 times the integral of x times the quantity x squared minus five to the fifth dx. And dx, remember, just indicates the integral. Okay, so u substitution, anytime I see an expression raised to a power higher than two, I'm gonna try u substitution. And what I need for u substitution is I need to see an expression and its derivative within that integral. So when we use u substitution, the u almost always, not always, but a good chunk of the time, the u is the thing that's raised to a power. So let's see if we have a derivative pair, an expression and its derivative, so that we could use u substitution. So I have x squared minus five raised to the fifth. I would really like this to be u. If I let that be u, right? So if I let u be x squared minus five, then the derivative of u would be two x dx. Okay, let's see if I have this. So if this whole thing were u, I would have a two x dx but I don't need 2x dx, I just need x dx. And that's okay, because you could have its derivative plus something that's being multiplied. We'll take care of that. And this is what I mean. We need x dx and then our u, and we'd have everything on the right side of the integral, and we'd be covered, and we could use u substitution. But we don't have x dx, we have 2x dx. Well, that's fine, because instead of adding du, we could simply multiply both sides by one half or divide by two, and we could say, well, if I did that, like I wanna get rid of this two over here, that's what that's gonna do, get rid of the two, I will now have one half du is x dx. So I have x dx right here. So I will have my u, I'll have x dx in the form of one half du. And this is what I mean when I say that. I mean, we are going to substitute this in, if I could find my cursor, okay, there we have it. I'm gonna let u be x squared minus five, so I'll have u to the fifth, that'll be great. Now I have to take care of the x dx. Well, I'm gonna let one half du be x dx. So my integral now looks like this, 24 times the integral of, remember, one half du is my x dx and u to the fifth, I let u be x squared minus five. Now I have this, it's super easy. I can just apply my regular integration rule. But again, one half is a constant multiplier. I'm gonna take that thing right outside. I'm gonna say 24 times one half or 24 divided by two. And then I'm left with u to the six over six. Well, how did I get that? I just took the one half out and when I integrate u to the fifth du, I get u to the six. What do you do when you integrate? Basic integration rules. You raise the power by one and divide by that new power. So the one half came out, so I have 24 over two, and I integrated u to the fifth, and I got u to the sixth over six. Okay, so what does this all mean? I'm now going to have 24, right? Well, 24 divided by two, let's just call it 12, and I'm gonna pull out this six. So the six is in the denominator, so it's gonna be a one sixth, or 12 divided by six, right? So we get 12 divided by six times u to the sixth. Okay, we really can't leave u here. Remember, our problem didn't start with a u. We substituted u. So what did we sub u in for? We subbed x squared minus five in for u, so we're gonna put that back. So now we're gonna have 12 divided by six, which is really just two, times u, which is x squared minus five raised to the sixth power. We're basically done. But remember, with indefinite integrals, we have to add that constant, because technically there's an infinite number of answers that will have this as their integral. So we are going to say add a constant c and our answer is two times x squared minus five to the sixth power plus c and you are done. 
So this was a nice one. I like your substitution. So much easier than parts. Still have questions? You should be subscribed to our YouTube channel because that's where you submit your questions and we do a custom video just for you. Till next time, take it easy.